Hey, this is the Fun Police, and we're taking you in, brother, to have a fantastic time in Satisfactory. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time, we got power automated, and built our very first automatic coal plant. Where we figured out the perfect ratio from water extractors to coal plants, and also what we figured out how to use pipes properly. So now, we are producing a poultry 600 megawatts from this power plant. And now that we have some automatic power generation, we can expand forever. And I probably will. I'll probably make as many uh, coal plants as I possibly can. Uh, the plan is to try and get to about 5,000 megawatts of power just on coal before we move on to fuel. And hopefully that'll be enough power to kind of fuel the transition. <laughs> eh, give that one a 5 out of 10. Okay, so with that, yeah. Our next big goal then is hypertubes. How do we make the hypertubes? I don't know. Oh wait, no, no, it's clearly <laughs> steel. Steel is pretty important because we can get the Mark II miner. That'll help us just across the board. It'll be a good time. Oh, and interesting. There's basic steel production now, and then in tier four, there's advanced steel production. Very cool. I like that. That's a good change. So coal and steel, same place. However, we're not diving into that. I actually want to get into the resource sinks. So let's load this puppy up. Rocket a go. Awesome stuff Milestone unlocked. Reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. Oh my god. Awesome. Pulling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Okay. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. You better believe it. Ooh, and new stuff in the future. I'm excited. All right. First off, I want to check out the shop. There we go because I want to see what goals we need to have. So, number one, I want my cart. I want it so bad. Life without the cart, every waking moment without the cart, brings me pain. So that is goal number one, for sure. There's a million things we should actually get before that, but I don't care, I, I don't care. I want the, I want it. I want it so bad. Okay. What else is there though? The mug? Pasha. Statues? One day. Railings? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ah, cart. Okay, and then the foundation pillars. Attachments. Then comes the power poles. Are the wall power things. And then I guess walls. Yeah. Those are all the key items I really want. And we'll be putting the awesome shop in the Kibbs Cave. So we're gonna have to reorganize a little bit. Okay, so this is looking a lot more awesome, if I do say so myself. Got the floor, got stuff more organized. Looking good, looking good. Then the awesome shop is just behind here. Like, I wanted to have it a little more front and center, but I'm not gonna be using it all that often. And now, it makes use of this little door. So there we go, and we can store our tickets in these containers. So, all is good. Oh, and this is definitely a tangent, but I noticed something while I was working in here. And there's more. Oh, wait, never mind. There's not more. There's nothing. I actually thought it was like a secret tunnel somewhere. Uh, incorrect. Ooh, okay, let's not get trapped out there. It's a sneaky deaky way underneath the map. Well, well, well. The Kibbs Cave has many secrets. Some may consider unnatural. Oh yeah, and there's another way over there too. <laughs> very good, very good. If we end up ever doing those kind of memes, I know where to go. Anyway, that is just the shop. Of course, we have the resource sink to build as well. And for those of you unaware, the resource sink, or awesome sink, takes in any item and converts them into coupons. So, let's just throw her on down. 
Just throw it down here for now. There we go. Went to our power pole. And there we go. So, we could throw in anything, pretty much. Can we throw in ore? Let's try it out. Now, if ore goes in... Oh. That is gonna be hyper convenient. And I guess that means, like, pretty much anything else can go in. However, the thing with the awesome sink is that different items give you more points. So the raw ore was giving us, like, nothing. Like, literally one point. Let's check out some iron ingots and see how many points they give. Because I want to try and, like, gauge how things scale with it. Let me guess, these count as two? No, it's like, what is that? Four? Four points, okay. So quite a bit better. And now let's go to, like, what's the most high-tech thing we have? I think rotors, I'd say. Let's just throw 20. And we're at 847, and a rotor goes to, like, what? Oh, wow. Lit wow, literally hundreds of points. Okay. So things scale very fast, but so does the coupon shop. Yeah, so now we just went from, like, 100 points for a coupon to, like, 3,000. Okay. Well, at least we have some coupons. Give. Yep. Okay, but aside from having this be like a constant garbage can for us, we do want this thing running consistently somewhere in some way. Because so long as it's going, I'm happy. So ideally, we build a whole separate system somewhere far away that will feed the resource sink while we play and kind of goof around. That way, when we come back to it, we'll have like a billion tickets. And that'll be rad. And you know what? I have the perfect idea. We are gonna add a resource sink over to our Keterium area. Because with Keterium, we don't need it for a very, very long time. But we do need some of it for making some things. Like more bleed runners if we need them, smart splitters when we need them, etc, etc. So what we can do is just get rid of this, build ourselves a splitter, so that most of the quick wire goes into the bin for storage. And then uh, the other bit of it will go into a resource sink. So you'll go just over there, my friend. And then we just hook this up. So now Quickwire will be fed to here forever. And we can just kind of forget about it until like way, 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 way later in the game. And that is fine by me. I'm curious how many points the Quickwire is worth, though. Pretty much a one tier item. Like, it just goes from a smelter to a, to a constructor. And it's looking like it's worth about 12 points. And now we're kind of moving and grooving. So now we have passive ticket creation and our garbage can over here. And we can just grab the tickets from this resource sink, I'm quite sure. Yep, because the points is like a background universal system to the game. So everything's still convenient. But now, I want my car real bad. So we are just gonna take from our very precious stockpiles Try and scoop up a couple points. This is a terrible idea and absolutely not what we should do But we're doing it anyway for the factory cart Our one true love after the doggos So let's try putting the smart plating in this is like the most complex thing we can possibly make So this should be like a thousand points, right? Oh my god literally like thousands of points Okay that's pretty good. We had three tickets before, so we need seven, and then we are set. And that gives us five. Now, let's put in the modular frames. Oh my, this is such a bad idea, but we're doing it. Oh yeah, and that's giving us like a billion points. Like 2,000? It seems like 2,000 points each. Oh my gosh, the scaling on this is incredible. But more importantly, our seven tickets! <laughs> oh boy! We got them! Screw the rest, I don't care. We have what we came for today. Give me my cart. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Other tickets! Life is soon to be complete! Yes! Factory cart! yet oh my gosh we can make 18 yes yes 
Yes! It's time to drive in style. <laughs> Everything is awesome. Life is grand. Let's rock and roll. Emerge from our super secret cave in style. And then immediately get stuck? Nope, because the factory cart is awesome. Super awesome. Okay, and also, you know what? We're gonna have a bit of a fun day today. Don't tell our corporate overlord so, right? But we're gonna get the jump pads first up. So there we go. And now, how many tickets do we have? And then we're gonna take all the tickets we've accumulated here. Thank you very much. And now we're gonna go on a little bit of a shopping spree. Curved foundations, hmm. That could be fun. Cornered ramp pack. Okay, we got tickets for days. Let's check it out. And now that we have jump pads, all these new curved foundations, and our little cart, I think you guys might know where I'm going with this episode. Yes, today I want to try and build ourselves a factory cart stunt track. We have all the tools, so let's try it out, right? And also, there's a pretty cool thing with these factory carts where they actually can use these bounce pads here. So, <laughs> great memes shall be had. If this works properly. I'm sure it will, we just drive up to it. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, number one, do we take fall damage? Yes. Nailed the landing though. And also, we kind of go flying in a pretty weird angle there, brother. Like, it's not just straight up and go. It's straight up and whoa. And then sometimes we don't even take damage. Like, okay. That's actually really bad. It's fun. But it's not going to be good for uh, stunting around. Alrighty, though. Let's not get hurt again. Thank you. And let's just try a vertical bounce pad. So it should be like the same dealio. Right? Just drive up the stairs and off we go. Oh, yes we do. And also, dang it, that was gonna be a perfect landing. I just didn't wanna take damage. Uh, but also, check this out. What if we chain these together? Okay, well I moved the bounce pad back a bit, so now, we're good, right? Oh, yeah, looking solid, brother! Oh, but it doesn't actually bounce us back off. Yeah, so that's super weird, because obviously when you're just running around, you can bounce from one bounce pad to the next, and you're fine. But when you're in a car, suddenly everything changes? Like, what's up with that, brother? Hmm, actually, you know what? It might have to do with the momentum in this game. So, how jump pads and pretty much everything at least from what I tested, uh, calculates physics, everything is reset to zero once you hit a bounce pad, or like a U-jelly pad. So we could be flying at this bounce pad at literally a million miles per hour, and the second we hit it, we bounce just like that. But also then, what about that whole fall damage thing? Can we stop that with U-jelly? Or are we still gonna get booped? Because we can't take like a billion damage every time we use these, right? That's not gonna work out well. Well, it doesn't work out well when we don't even reach it, and goodbye, Kurt. Well, attempt number two. Oh, brother. We go directly through it. Okay, yeah, even when we drive through it, there's like nothing. Yeah, there's like nothing slowing us down. So I don't think they work with the cart then. So that's pretty oof. But at least we can use the jump pads to get us up to like next floors and things of that nature when we're in the cart. I don't know. We'll find a use for them. Right now though, there's something I've been wanting to do for a bit. And that's make like one of those like circus things. You know like the cages where they have like the motorbike go around? Yeah. One of those. It's like a sphere. Just like this. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, cart. Into our sphere. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, good old cart. And let's close this on up. <laughs> Have a little bit of fun. Oh my gosh. The ultimate dream of becoming a circus act is complete. Well, then again, I'm a YouTuber already, so I guess, 
already kind of solved that one, but <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Oh, and we can like wall ride as well, dude. Oh my goodness, physics. Oh, no physics. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. Not much we can do with it, but happy we can do this nonetheless. But now aside from that, let's just try one of these loops here. Ah, oh, yeah, we can do like a corkscrew through this. Oh, that's so sick. Oh my gosh, there's so many fun things we can do. Um, like when we have our actual factory as well. Whoa! So many memes to be had. Woo! <laughs> Gonna have to work on the exit and entrance of this thing. But so far, this is pretty dang wild, brother. Wah! Backflip? We'll count that as a backflip, okay? Give me points. <laughs> anyway, so we have the two things there. Is there anything else we can do with all these ramps and things we have? Oh yeah, there's a curved foundation. So, I'm not sure if this is in the game yet, but apparently going off of one of these, you can do a backflip in the factory cart. It was tweeted by the Coffee Stain Studio guys, but I think it might be in a new patch this is gonna be available. Let's just check it out real quick here. Backflip? No, that is just a straightforward flip, AKA a landing without the flip. Let's give her one more go. Maybe I goof something? No. It's just like that. <laughs> but hey, at least we got our flip in. Okay, but let's try another stunt here. I wanna try and like do a rail grind with the cart on the side of a belt. Like that'd be so sick. It would be like insanely hard to do, but I think we can do it. Me. Oh my goodness, and you know what? I found the best thing about the carts. It's not how cute they are. It's not that they can do stunts, it is the physics of them. Specifically, the crash physics. <laughs> the camera angle is so good, and we landed it, yo. But yeah, the crash physics are just the bee's knees. And I crash was actually pretty tame considering what I've seen. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a better one. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of an angle. <laughs> And we got a little bit of a better crash. But honestly, it's not a good crash if you actually land the jump. Okay. <laughs> that one was pretty good. Okay, but you know what? I think that's enough cart shenanigans for now. We'll mess around with them later, for sure, and find some kind of use for them. I'm not very good at stunts. They're good at flying all over the place, so that's cool. So maybe we can incorporate that into our main base when we get to it. We'll see. Uh, for now though, we have a bit of a problem actually. Uh, that is that our ticket machine is crazy, crazy expensive. And it's really hard to get coupons now. I wanted to mess with a few other things, but it's too slow, brother. It's too slow. We only have one coupon. Like, what on earth could we do with only one coupon? Well, actually, you know what? You guys kept saying in the comments that I should put a coupon in the freaking item sink. But then, it's like, why would I do that? You're supposed to get the coupons out of the item sink. Like, are you guys trying to make me waste the coupon? That's ridiculous. But then, some people are saying that there's actually like a secret item you can get if you put a coupon in the resource sink. So like, should we try that? But like, I don't know, is that just a troll? Would a fix it coupon going in the resource sink really get us something cool? It seems like a bit of a ridiculous idea. But then again, it's just one ticket. One ticket isn't too bad. Maybe we could just try it out. Like the comments are usually always right. Maybe we should. But I don't know. You guys are kind of rascals. You might be trolling. And you know what? I think you are. <laughs> so we're not gonna waste a ticket on that, you little rascals. Instead, there's something far more important that we need to buy with the ticket. Because lucky for me, with this last ticket we just got, we now have five whole tickets. And with the five whole tickets, we can get something I actually really, really, really want. The Wall Power Pole Mark IIs, because they are going to be critical 
in building our factory. So let's quickly check them out. And now I'm pretty sure I understand how these guys work. So you just throw them on a wall, of course. Oh, all over a wall too. <laughs> that gives me a really good idea, but okay. And then does the power connect directly through? So we have that. And then we just connect from here to there. Yes, oh my goodness. Oh yes, with these, we can actually start building our main base. Oops. <laughs> because aside from all the ticket craziness, we really need to get into steel. Because once we have steel, we can get advanced steel production, get the Miner Mark IIs, and upgrade our dinky little starter base here. And also, if we have steel, we can go and get the hyper tubes. And that's where the real memes begin. And so, uh, we'll definitely be getting to steel next time. Definitely to advanced steel, and we'll see about those hyper tubes. But for now, that's gonna be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>